Hello, and welcome to the Badger Tank. How are ya? So, it, it took us a while, but here's our first video on the Accelerate update for Tribes Ascend. Now, this video is on the heavies. Each of our videos, since there's so many weapons, are going to be on one of the armor classes. So this one's the heavies. And first we're looking at the Juggernaut. Now, since the weapons are all variants of existing weapons, his new primary weapon is the Fusion Mortar Deluxe. Now, Fusion Mortar Deluxe does more damage on a direct hit than the regular Fusion Mortar does. And it also has a faster traveling shot. Took me a bit of time to get used to it. However, it does less OE, AoE damage, so you need to be precise with your shots. Yeah. Now, as for his new secondary variant weapon, it's the Spin Fuser MKX. Now, this is more like the Soldier Spin Fuser. It does more damage on a direct hit, and it's got less AoE. But this actually does more damage than the Soldier Spin Fuser does, doing 924, I believe. Isn't that Something right? Like that. I think it's like, yeah, about 15 more than the actual Soldier. So it's very, very good for direct hits. Yeah. And blue plates. <laughs> <laughs> As for his new belt item variant, it's the Heavy AP XL. This does less damage than the Heavy AP does, but in a greater area. Now, as for the Doombringer, he gets a nice new primary chain gun variant called the Chain Cannon. Lovely, and it's red! Lovely red. <laughs> Fits the, the Blood Eagles perfectly. Red. <laughs> now, the Chain Cannon does more damage uh, per shot. It does 120 damage. However, it's got a slightly slower rate of fire. I personally prefer this to the chain gun itself. I, I yeah. like getting bigger damage. The rate of fire isn't that much slower, is it? Not really, not really. As for his new secondary, it's a bit more than a variant. It's the Titan Launcher. Now, this is very like a thumper. It fires a missile in a direct line. No lock on, just direct shot. But it explodes after a short while and does 700 damage. But this is great for the Doombringer. Yeah, he really needed a proper secondary. As for his belt item, he gets a defective frag grenade. This has a larger radius than the other frag, but does a little bit less damage. Now, as for the Brute's new primary, he gets the Devastator Spin Fuser, also in a lovely red. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Willie, Willie's a fan of the Devastator, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, it's great. It's, fucking, it's the most powerful Spin Fuser in the game. Why wouldn't I be a fan of it? 1,204 <laughs> damage, direct hit. Less AoE damage, but again... You're getting direct hits, you're going to be rewarded yeah. more often. One for accuracy. Definitely. Now, as for his new secondary variant, it's the hammer. It's a variant of the automatic shotgun, of course. This does more damage uh, per bullet, but it's got less in a clip. So it's it's it, this is really, really is a playstyle choice weapon. Yeah, it's not much different, really. As for his new belt item, he gets the extended fractal. Now, this does less damage than his current fractal grenades. Yeah, it lasts, I think, two seconds longer. It's a very, very good weapon. Party. Disco party. So that was the Heavy's new weapons and war gear. Now, our thoughts on the Accelerate update so far are that players with skill are rewarded for hitting dead-on more. Now, if if you're using the Spin Fusers, like Devastator or whatever, you're going yeah. to want to be hitting more. You're not going to want to do AoE. You know, you're not going to want to chip an enemy down. Yeah. So it's rewarding people more for skill like that. Uh, to be honest, I I enjoy all the new weapons. Really, what are your thoughts? I I, I think uh, the major weapon changes are probably the Doombringer with the, the chain gun and the Titan launcher. The Titan launcher being the one kind of different weapon that that's quite different from the. It's not just a side grade. It's a different weapon. It's yeah. It's handier basically than say, well, a, a given situation. Like. It does cost more. It does cost like yeah. a regular weapons like forty two thousand, whereas all the other variants cost max eighteen thousand. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like the tank launcher really is worth it for the Doombringer. I really, really like it, and it's it's great for when you know somebody gets close, but you don't have time to rev up the chain gun, or somebody's behind yeah. you. You know, this actually opens up quick draw for use on the Doombringer now. Uh, before I would have said it was pointless, but the very fact that you have it to defend yourself, you know, it's pretty handy. Um, yeah, as for the rest, I really enjoyed the Fusion Mortar Deluxe. Um, well, I I use all the other weapons now because I hit fairly regularly, but I really do enjoy the Fusion Mortar Deluxe. I like yeah. the speed. <laughs> the extra speed, get to yeah. the target faster. The extra speed is so handy. <laughs> it yeah. really is. Because, like, it took a while to get used to, but once you're able to judge it, it's quite good. Yeah. But that's it for now, for this video. Uh, the next video will either be the lights or the mediums, and it should be out shortly. So, till next time, we will see you later. Alright. See you later.